finances to maximize opportunities for parks and recreation in Vancouver. Four, the cost of catering food and beverages at a staff briefing is, is an expense to the park board. Therefore, be it resolved that the board directs staff to immediately cease the practice of ordering food and beverages for staff briefings. All right. Do commissioners have any questions? May I speak to my briefing? Madam Chair? Yes. I'm sure all of my colleagues would agree that budget cuts and, their, and the effect that they have on the park board are not favorable. However, they are a reality. We have made several cuts and efficiencies to our parks facility and staff, and now it's time for us to take a look inside to the board and look at areas that we can cut back. And catered briefings for commissioners is one area that that can be achieved. In the mid-1990s, former councillor Tim Lewis proposed a motion which was supported unanimously to halt catered staff briefings, as the money could better be spent on restoring funds to other areas of the park board. It's a rare occurrence for the opposition to receive support on their motions, but former Commissioner Lewis achieved this, as it made sense, and dollars, to all commissioners, regardless of their party stripes, to brown bag their dinners. I'm not sure how this, ever motion, or how this motion ever came to be overturned. However, we should recognize the policy passed by the board to be fiscally responsible. The optics of having catered briefings is awful. We have cut, cut, cut our park maintenance budget and 900 hours to community centre staff. We have also asked for handouts from community centre associations two years in a row to contribute to extra money that we don't have in our budget. After all this, should we really spend thousands of dollars eating on the taxpayers' dime? Many times I've seen leftover food taken home by other commissioners. commissioners aren't at the park board office full time. Our meetings are planned well in advance and just as most of us pack a brown bag lunch, can't we pack a brown bag dinner as well? Staff have in the past packed brown bag dinners and eaten at their desks, wanting to review material before briefings and or gone out together, sometimes with commissioners, to nearby restaurants to eat on their own dime before or after our meetings. To address Commissioner Jasper's comments in the media, I understand from my inquiries with staff and my research that staff do get compensated for their hours, depending on their classification. Union staff receive overtime or double time, and senior staff and exempted staff receive time in lieu, and there is no obligation to feed them or ourselves. Also, other city staff work 12-hour shifts, and their food is not paid for by the park board. Times are tougher now than they have ever been, and we need to adjust to minimize our costs and be responsible to the citizens of Vancouver. Thank you.